Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the glorious Stardew Valley. Or, uh, Rune Valley Forest of Moons and Harvests. Rune Moon and the Factory of Stardew. Star Factory Rune Moon. Whatever you choose to call it. For those curious about what music was delightfully playing in the pre-show, we had the Stardew Valley Overture, which was an acoustic cover by Thunder Scott at exactly that, Thunder Scott on YouTube. Go check it out, it's amazing. And then we've got the Prairie Remix, the Journey of the Prairie King Remix by Cats Music and Gaming. That is music spelled with just a K, no C. And then the Dagust, the Dasgust Spring, it's a wonderful, it's a big world out there remix by Dasgust. Find them all on the YouTubes. And in fact, throw that shit right here in chat. That's Dasgust. Right here is the wonderful Thunder Scott. And here's Cat. All of these are wonderful musics. Delightful things for your ears. Go check them out. And if you're gonna check them out, we have a bit of a rule here on Penta Hybrid. And that rule is if you're gonna go and uh, listen to the music that I play during the pre show, let them, let those artists know where you're coming from and drop down in the comment section and say, brought to you by Penta Hybrid or came from Penta Hybrid or whatever those guys in the comment sections always say. Been playing, we played Stardew Alley for about two hours yesterday. Had some fun. As you can see, here's my uh, first file. We're gonna jump into Bucket Farm 2.0. And it just had to be the best song in the whole game that plays right away, of course. Wild Horse Radish Jam is the best song in the damn game! Just reading up on the Twitters. Thank you all for the retweets, likes, favorites, whatever you want to call them. You are all amazing! Alright, weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow with Randy. It's gonna be partially cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. That was, uh, Patrick Warburton. Neutral spirits. Alright, let's do this shit. Hey buddy, sorry I haven't been on. I was knocked down, but back up and doing better. Well, I'm so happy to hear you're doing better. And I'm very, very sorry that you... Wait, did I say happy or sad? I'm happy you're doing better. I'm very sorry that you were knocked down. Hopefully, this wonderful jammy jam will make you feel a little better. In fact, because this song is so damn good, let's turn it up a little bit. Wild Horseradish Jam is the best song in the whole damn game. It is the best song in the game. In fact, I was listening to it like five minutes before I went live. I was like, oh my god, I'm psyching myself for this. I'm psyching myself up for parsnips. Psyching myself up for parsnips! Don't worry about not stopping by uh, frequently. I always know 
I can always rely on you with the retweets, the the the, the shares or whatever you want. Not the shares. What do they call them? The favorites or likes or whatever? Favorites, likes. God damn it, Twitter. Why didn't you just stay the same? I miss my star. I don't like the heart. I miss my star. Oh, here it comes. I'm gonna mute myself. This is the best part of the song. It's all good in the hood. That's awesome. Let's jam. Let's jam a little bit with this wild horseradish jam while we pick all our plants. We can't have a full inventory when we're listening to this song. There's no such thing. Oh, uh, the sickle can go away. Sure. That means we just got some good plants. Oh, shit. I might just keep it at that volume. It doesn't sound too bad. Does it sound too loud to you? Out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. I mean, Stardew Valley doesn't isn't a really super loud game, so selling the bars, they're selling the two lips. Oh my God, two lips! I'm gonna kiss those two lips with two lips. Costanza, wait a second. Hold on a second, there, Costanza. Hold on. Hold on. I'm adding this shit for you. I'm adding this shit for you. I can get away with louder. All right. I don't know how to add an uptime command. We're going to do this shit for Stanza. We're going to do this shit for Stanza. This is for you. This is for you. What the fuck is this? What? Sure. Sure! Well... I don't know if there's gonna be any sensitive information on this screen. I've been known to have sensitive in information on my screen. Commands. Fucking... God... Damn it, Costanza. Doing it for the fans. Costanza's not... Right, let's, let's, let's step away from the word fans real quick. Fans is... You guys aren't fans. Unless you call yourself fans, which I'm totally cool with, but... Y'all are just friends, viewers, whatever, whatever you wish. Wait, no. What? 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 Oh my god, I love my keyboard. And there's the Mog! I stream at the same time! I stream at the same time every day. Is this, is this, is this legitimate? Is this legitimate? Fan is, yeah, fan is, fan is not a, a word I associate with people. Channel provided does not exist. What? What? What is that shit, Nightbot? What is that shit? What a bunch of boo caca. What is that? I don't understand. Are they trying to tell me that I have a lowercase h? Is that what they're trying to say here? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it all, Costanza. You know what? You're just gonna have to keep trolling my ass. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? One of these days, one of these days you're gonna jump in here. One of these days you're gonna jump in and you're gonna be like, oop time. And it's gonna work. 
But apparently I don't exist. So let's continue streaming like we don't exist, and let's farm some shit. God damn it, Nightbot, saying I don't exist. That is the biggest low blow I've ever had in my life. Like, yay, happiness. Uh, sorry, bro, you don't exist. All right, well, Mog. You, you have a good night. I appreciate you stopping by and saying hello. I stream at the same time every day. Every day. It, well, not every day. Saturdays and Sundays I stream different times. I stream more uh, understandable times. Also, it's like 8 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 8 o'clock in the morning right now. We need to start getting on a roll here. Like Friday night, Saturday morning. Or, well, Friday night, Saturday morning. And then Saturday is our big Pokemon event. Poke Tovemba. For those who missed the stream last night, we're playing Stardew Valley 1.1. And absolutely loving it. Why do I have tulips again? Oh yeah, sell them. Derp. Clickety. Alright, I doubt it'll never work. It will never work. I'm just gonna say it'll never work, so that one day you're gonna pop in and be surprised. You're popping and go, up time. And then it's gonna say, he's been live for 65 years. I haven't even been alive for 65 years. That would be ridiculous. I've been alive for like almost half of that. I don't feel like doing math. It's it's four in the morning. I don't want to do math. I just spent 12 hours at work doing math. I don't want to do math now. Not even once. You've missed a lot of streams. You missed Stramium and Mortality. I did that game twice. You missed Game Dev Tycoon. You missed a couple of Isaac streams. You missed possibly the best Isaac stream. Oh wait, no, that one wasn't live. That one wasn't live, I forgot. The Thousand and One Percent wasn't live. However, the first, the reveal of Thousand and One Percent was live. Alright. Oh my god, I can't wait to get my horse. Oh, I know you're kidding. See? Wild Horse Radish Jam. This game knows me. It understands what I like. It understands the music I like. They don't miss most of them. It's hit or miss with most people. Like, are you, you're still in New York, so right now it's super early for you. Once you're back in the EU, I expect you to stop by more often, because over there it's going to be normal time for you. It's going to be right in your mornings. Wait, no. This. Touch it. Uh, three anchovy for only 90 Gs. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Willy. Willy, Wily, Willy, Willy. Get out of here with your frickin'. What a bunch of shite. I know, it's like, uh. It's, well, yeah, it's five in the morning for you, too, just like it was for Mog. Two more parsnips. And then two more potatoes. Hard on the parsnips. Sometimes I just wake up in the middle of the night like I did today. Amen to that. I don't have time to wake up in the middle of the night anymore. I'm always up in the middle of the night. That is the schedule I do. What time is it for me? Quarter after four. It is 4.15 a.m. Who made this game? Oh my god, Riddle, I'm so happy you asked. This is a game by Concerned Ape. It's an indie dev. One man made this game. A single dude made this game. And it is, honestly, not even in a joking way, probably, I, I can't say it, I can't confirm it, but it is a heavy contender for my game of the year this year. Like, this, Dark Souls 3, XCOM 2, and yes, I realize I played XCOM 2 before I played XCOM 1. We'll get to XCOM 1 on the stream someday. But yes, Concerned Ape made this game. It is one guy, and he is an absolute doll. I don't use the word doll for just anybody. This guy's a brilliant man. It's 
spent like six years making it because he wanted a real Harvest Moon game. And this is... Well, to be fair, I sank probably... It is a lot. It's it's Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, Monster Rancher. It's it's everything mixed up into one. This is not basically Farmville. You get the hell out of here with you, with that with that shit. I don't even care if you're trolling. That kind of trolling isn't allowed here. We don't talk about Farmville in Penta Chat. Here it goes. Bow. Basically, this is the game I played probably the most this year, aside from Isaac. I played it the day it came out. Uh, well, I got the game for free. But I played the game the day it came out. Uh, and played it for... Oh my god, how long did I play it? Over the course of like four weeks, I think I put like 80 hours into this game. No, it had to be more than that. Had to be more than that. Had to be like close to 80 hours though. Ten of it was not on Steam because it was a code that I didn't get to put on Steam. So Steam didn't track it, but then the rest of it was all like 70 some hours. You know what? Fuck it, let's check. Steam. Stardew Valley, 62 hours tracked by Steam, so plus 10 or 12, so like like 70-ish game hours. Or were those hours tracked by Steam? So it might have just been 62, because my first file was 50, so yeah, the 12 hours was tracked by Steam. Alright, so 62 hours still. Insane. Who made this? Oh no, wait. Uh, where where are we at right now? It's not like Harvest Moon. Just seems fuller in ways. Yes, it is. It is Harvest Moon and Rune Factory and all that stuff mixed into one. You're not trolling, Costanza. This is not basically Farmville. This is not basically Farmville. This is a country life RPG. Farmville is a clicker. It is a clicker. It is a game to make you click and wait. This is not a click and wait game. This has activities, events, romances, story. It's just phenomenal. It's basically the same thing. Rune Factory was Harvest Moon, the same people. Rune Factory was not Harvest Moon. Rune Factory was actually the role-playing version of Harvest Moon with more dungeon crawling and uh, player progression with it, whereas Harvest Moon was more just like a life sim. I, I, I personally have a lot of experience with both Rune Factory and Harvest Moon. Rune Factory Frontiers I probably put about 400 hours into, and it was amazing. I don't know what IIRC is. Call me an internet noob, but I have no idea what that means, so I'm just going to imagine it means Icy Ice, really cool. Can I just say I want Bloodborne to be Game of the Year despite that it's not from 2016? That's not fair, Costanza, it's not fair! Bloodborne was from 2014. Wait, 2015. It was from 2015. And it was a lot of people's game of the year last year. It was a lot of game of the people's game of the year last year. Hi, puppy. Puppy. Puppy! Hi, Cade. How are you doing? How are you doing? I gotta sell these, sell these dandelions. Daffodils. I was getting mixed up. Does it have to be in a, Does it have the option for marriage like Harvest Moon? Yes, it does. Marriage, building a house together, kids, mining, all kinds of fun stuff. I believe after you see something that isn't farming. Alright, let's go to the mines. Let's prove Costanza wrong. We got our sword. What Farmville game has a fucking sword? Let's just say that. Bloodborne needs to be game of the year every year? No. IRRC means if I remember correctly. <laughs> Yeah, well, that just shows how dumb I am. So it's The Sims. It's not The Sims! Oh, Costanza, you're so difficult to deal with. Ah. <laughs> Farmville doesn't have a black guy. Just kidding. That's. It probably has a black guy. I think you can be a black guy in Farmville. But anyway, it doesn't have a homeless caveman. Cade is tired. I'm sorry, Cade. We're all a little tired sometimes, though. Oh, copper on our first crack. There it is. I need this game now. 
is an RPG based on farming and tasks. And a ton more than that. There's a lot of... Oh god, I want to show you guys the deep lore, but I don't... I'm not there yet in this file. Actually, I have an idea. If you guys are going to be hanging out for a bit, I'm going to show you my, my far file real quick. Just to give you guys a good idea of what this game can be. Sansa, it's not Minecraft. It's not The Sims. It's Stardew Valley, you idiot. It's rude. That was a little rude riddle. Uh, but fair. Costanza, I have a feeling like, like I love you to death. Not really, but I'm just saying it because it's a thing to say. But, you're a great lady. You're from New York. Well, you're not from New York. You're from Europe, but you're in New York. So I can, I can jive with you there a little bit. But you are one of those people that compares things to other things so easily. So here's a little bit of... Oh, I can't show you on this file. Dang it. We'll have to show you on the other file, though. But you are one of those people that's like, Oh, get out of here, rock boy. You have to, like... I bet if I were to launch up, you know, Our Darker Purpose, or... Hell, even like a wizard's lizard, you would be one of the people that would say, like, It's basically Isaac. When it's... It's, it's, a, it's an inspiration from it, but it's not anything like it. Like... To be fair here, and this is not to like call you out and be mean or anything, but comparing this to Minecraft doesn't even make sense. Because there's no blocks, there's no voxel art, there's no, you know, ender dragon. Like, there's no comparisons to this to Minecraft. There are a lot of similarities between things, but at the same time, I don't know, it's difficult. It's a difficult thing to, it's a difficult world we live in because so many things are alike. I, I kind of want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat our field snack, and then take the carrot. It's like an RPG and looks fun. I hate Minecraft. See, Riddle, I kind of... I, I like Minecraft. I love Minecraft for what it is. Minecraft is a great game. Like, don't get me wrong, Minecraft is a phenomenal game. Especially all the mods that people have for it. It's so good, but... I, uh... Minecraft gets a lot of, a lot of shit for being bland. There's a lot of games that are kind of bland. Like, even Zelda is kind of bland. You're a little boy with a tunic that just runs around and collects things. Like, that's the whole point of the game. Granted, there's a story behind it, but... I don't know. It's the whole joy of being a gamer, is because we can all like different things. And interpret things differently. Like, Costanza's interpreting this as, like, a, uh, similar to Minecraft and Farmville. And that's all her prerogative. And it's my prerogative to disagree. That's why being human is so cool we can politely disagree with one another. Get the hell out of here, Crab Toad. <gasps> Dude, take the crab. Uh, get rid of the stones. Uh, get rid of the cave carrot. Wait, no. Keep the cave carrot. Eat the cave carrot. What's this, Cade? It never makes sense. Minecraft is a time waster, but that's cool for it. I'm just past gaming like that. It's not... ruins you. I just ruined Zelda for you. I'm sorry, Kate. <laughs> it's just a dude that walks around and collects things. That's what Zelda is. <laughs> it's already 10 p.m. Wow, we're wasting a lot of time on this day. Let's, uh... I want that earth crystal, though. Shit. Uh... Oh, we dropped the crab. No, we don't drop the crab. God, get where it go. I want my new backpack. That's what gaming is, a time waster. It is. Now, Riddle, what she meant was that everything was a time waster. Yeah, she just said it. Every, everything is a time waster. Escape is a different way to say it, but time waster... Hell, uh, brushing your teeth is technically a time waster, because the only negative side to it is your teeth go bad. But it's technically a time waster, because you're just doing something. We'll get rid of the crab. Screw it. We have a little energy left. Let's see if we can try and find a way to the next floor before it gets too late. <clears throat> and I'm not sitting here taking sides or anything, just... Gotta see both sides of the coin. Frankly, right now, the coin is the fact that I ruined Zelda for Kate, and I'm so sorry. I love Zelda, but that's... Yeah, I said that to make a point, because... It is kind of a time waster. 
at the end of the day, all games are just empty air, pretty much. Alright, so we're gonna drop the cherry bomb here. Open up the cave. I totally just got hit by my own cherry bomb. What's up, bro? E Lan on this sin hutam do sihotu. Elisan nomu in atanam. Oh light. Who are no pitel do well? Thank you, dwarf bro. All games are an escape for me because I have no real life friends. A men Cade. Amen. I mean I have a I have a lot of real life friends, but that is what gaming is. Gaming is precisely that. Gaming is an escape for people because living in the fantasy world is, in a lot of times, more interesting and more rewarding than living in the real world. Is who German? Am I German? I am not German. I wish I was German, but I'm not German. Oh god, it's, it's already midnight. There were things I wanted to do today. Running, running. But if you have a story or a task that holds more meaning, it's not so much wasting time as it's having a learning experience. I feel ya. I do, but I think the point that Costanza and I are trying to make is that effectively. We're not saying that it's it's you know, oh it's a waste of time to play that. It's more of like a Effectively that's what it is, because it is just a waste of time. Is the is the dwarf German? No, he's dwarven. He's dwarvish. Dwarfish. Dwarfish? Orcish. Dwarvish. Dwarvish. German. Erman. Hi, puppy. Yes, we're gonna go to sleep to the night. Level 1 mining! Pickaxe proficiency, and we can make cherry bombs now. Should have made a decent amount of money this day. Ah, 350. Not bad. So about 350. He's Jaman. He's Jaman. Ikum bokum. Alright, so before we continue this day, we're gonna... Nope. No, not exit game. Shoot. We're gonna have to exit to the desktop real quick. Quit. Because there's no proper way to actually do this. Hold on. Clickety-click. Preparing to launch Stardew Valley. Dorkass? I am a dorkass. Watch this. <laughs> I woke him up. Alright. Real quick. Shut up, phone. Fit of science. Alright. Just to show you what this game can become. We're gonna load... I'm so rich in this game. We're gonna load my main file. The one that I played back when it came out. This is my house then. All this shit is stuff that I can redecorate. Including my portal to the netherworld. This is my freaking chest full of fantastic items, including my large cans of goat milk, radishes, grapes, large milks, red cabbage, star fruits. I can make beer. This is my fridge full of all my produce. I have 348 blueberries. I went a little crazy on blueberries. But you can make, like, wine. I also have a lava katana, golden tools all around the board. I keep myself well stocked on things. I can cook from any of these recipes to carry around with me. Each of them have different uh, pluses and minuses. Pluses and minuses, like a child. Positive and negative effects is what I meant. I have a skeleton. This is my farm. I have tappers and all my things. My entire farm, my entire farm is automated. All these sprinkles, I don't have to water a damn thing in my entire farm. For any day, I don't have to water a damn thing in my entire farm. I can just pick a bunch of chili peppers. Oh, Costanza. I could just... Lightning rods, where I can create batteries. I have all my cows and shit. 
I don't want to eat the radish. I ate the radish. So what? We ate the radish. That's fine. I have trees. I have all these potted plant or potted things. I have trees that I can pick up like oranges and shit. I have a cave that grows mushrooms. I have those chewy peppers in real life. I mean, even in this one, I'm like, all this shit that I can craft. I got loves in my life. I'm max level in pretty much everything. And by pretty much everything, I mean like not at all everything, but still. I have a freaking horse. I'm making wine and beer. I have a tool that makes me let lets me make infinite rubies. I can make music simply by walking. I can make music simply by clicking on this thing. I have all this shit. Maple syrup, wine, muffins, cakes. I have all this shit. I don't remember what's in this. This is all my other shit, like a lead rod, a bunch of boots, rings, and stuff. In here I got... A legendary mutant carp that I still haven't figured out what I'm supposed to do with, except catch it. I have all this bullshit. Crab traps, batteries, speed grows, bat wings. And then just other tools. And that's Harvest Valley. The interpersonal aspect seems larger than Minecraft. Hence, I'm going to do a randomizer for Pokemon and name my starter after you, and you're probably going to die. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm, I think I'm fine with that. I think I'm fine with that. So let's actually jump back into the damn game. Enough trying to impress people by showing them what the game can be, because, you know what? It don't matter if you like the game. It don't matter if you like the game. What matters is that I like the game, because I'm the one playing it. Oh! Sick burn, bitches. Don't give a shit. Drop in the mic, motherfucker. That's right. Take a sip of my... I'm gonna get you killed by a Caterpie. Alright, it's official, everybody. When we do Pokemon Friday, I'm gonna name every Pokemon I catch, Costanza. And we're gonna kill all of them. I can make music with did shit and I can't understand you, Kate. Just being real, I can't understand you. I also have to adjust my chair. Hold on a second. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open in fine ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Uh, it just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. Here, I want you to have them. That's a big-ass blueprint. Learned how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting them. Construction with tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay. I'm heading home. Take it easy. Bye, Clint. I was gonna name my starter after you and the others after, after the chat people, because no one has ever done that before. Oh, yeah, no one has ever done that before. You should do the demo of Sun Moon for your stream. I don't... <sighs> Gee, I'm assuming you need a 3DS. I don't own a 3DS. Name a Pokemon after me. Cade, I would love to name a blue, uh, Pokemon after you. You would have to be there for the stream, though. And if you're curious, it's going to be Friday. 
I've seen you've been exploring the old mine. I've got the adventurer spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Wait, it won't be Friday. It'll be my Friday. It'll be most people's Saturday. So it's going to be Saturday. We'll just go under the impression that it's going to be Saturday. Make it easier for people. Big blueprint get. Falcon punch. Citra will work, but you may not be able to stream it. I would be able to stream Citra. I have Citra, but... I believe there's an issue with uh, actually getting Pokemon games to work for it. The mighty hand of Nintendo reaches far and wide. It's raining cherry blossoms. Never mind. This complete the game is completely different than Minecraft. Oh, bam. Kappa. Kappa Kappa. Kappa Kappa Kappa. Ho oh, ho! Costanza, look at that. You failed at a Kappa. You can't even do your job correctly. Oh! Mic drop again. Just picked up a second mic to drop it again. Oh. Somebody bring... Somebody bring some people to the burn ward. Penta Hybrid's over here dropping the sickest of burns. Gangrenous burns. I don't think you can get gangrene from a burn. Can you get gangrene from a burn? I think you can get gangrene from a burn. I would imagine you could get gangrene from a burn, because gangrene is pretty much... Can you get gangrene from a burn? Somebody Google this. Can we? Can you get gangrene from a burn? I want to know. I want to know. And and send me the, tweet me the images, because I'm, I'm disgusting and I want to see it. Okay, Kappa. Well, Kate, I would love it if you stopped by for that. It works, but it has some glitches, but I, I could get it running. I'm sure I could get it running. It's a Cap K. <laughs> oh. And two Ps. Oh. Costanza, the artist of Kappa. The art of the, 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 the number one Kappa. Alright, so we're gonna have to drop our. Let's drop off the hoe. And let's drop off the uh, the old axe. Let's bring some geodes over to Clint. Don't need the watering can either right now. No, 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 get over here. We'll grab this. Grab this and this. Grab this. Uh, that's about it for now. Trust me, I know the master. I am the master of Kappa. Okie dokie. You should totally... Uh, you should... I should totally do artwork of Kappa. Kappa fan art, I agree. If you did it, I would, uh, I would, uh, subscribe to that Pinterest feed. Even though I don't know what a Pinterest is, so... To be fair. I have no idea what Pinterest is, what it does, who uses it, why they use it, and why I should even care. And even if you sit here and tell me what it is, I'm gonna continue not caring. Because I'm a rude asshole, and that's what I do. Pinterest just doesn't do it for me. I'm like, people are like, dude, you should totally go to Pinterest. It's, it's a good place to find pasta. And I'm like, so's the fucking grocery store. You know, go to the grocery store. Say, yo, what up, Jeffrey? Where's the pasta? And Jeffrey's gonna be like, dude, it's in aisle two. And then you go get the pasta. Pasta accomplished. Achievement unlocked. Booty. There it is. That's all it is. Don't know what the don't know what the ID is. Let's donate to the museum. You can have this. You can have this. And because I'm rude, the Earth Crystal is gonna go there. <laughs> That's the Animal Crossing effect of this game. Is like you can donate to the museum. Doesn't seem like I have anything to donate to the museum. What about my beard? I could donate the beard, even though I'm never shaving it off. Because I'm a gross, you know, animal of a man. Floating, floating jizz. Penta, I'm a, I'm a matang. Dude, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Oh no, I forgot the treasure chest. I was so distracted by my controller vibrating. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot the treasure chest. After talking about mad game yesterday, but never missing treasure chest, dude. My controller, I have my controller plugged in, set up on top of my computer. And I've been wondering for the past, like, what, like, 45 minutes we've been playing, what's been making the weird noise in my apartment? It's the, it's my controller vibrating on top of my computer. I did not, can we just, can we turn the vibration off, please? Let 
Where's vibration? Where's vibrate? Controller rumble. Get out of here. That scared the shit out of me. Annoying with... Okay, I'm not even going to acknowledge that. But I acknowledge you, Costanza. Well, I'm off to bed. Have a good stream. I'll be looking for this game. Definitely, Riddle. Thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you for the next stream. Or whatever stream you're at next. I hope to see you for the Pokemon stuff this weekend. I'd love to catch a uh, mysterious Gen 5 Pokemon and name it Riddle. So I do hope to see you for that. But otherwise, you have yourself a wonderful night. I hope you're feeling better. All the best wishes to you, man. All of them. Every single best... Wow. 90, 99 of the 100 best wishes. I get one. Just because I, I want one. Yes, you can fish. I'm sure you're real surprised by that. <laughs> you can fish in Minecraft. And before you even say it, yes, I know you're kidding. I know you're being a troll. Oh my god, we got a record sunfish. Bye bye, Riddle. Go eat some soup. That's, that's my, like, way to say bye to people in this chat. Just to go eat some soup, man. Eat all the soup. Oh my god, I got the green algae. All the green algae. Craft a furnace. Get ten slimes killed. I will do it. Alright, Clint. It's too OP. Process my geodes, man. Give me that copper. Give me that... Calcite. Give me them three rocks. Give me that... Granite. Give me that earth crystal. You know what game you can eat soup in? Minecraft. <laughs> you know what the funny part about that, Costanza? I wasn't talking about eating soup in the game. Your troll failed. Your troll failed. Failed. Hope you're proud of yourself. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. I would never be proud of myself if I made a, if I made a comment like that. Shameful. For shame! For shame! Shame! Oh, that was good. Worth it. Worth it. 100% worth it. I think we have a good relationship, you and I. With this, uh... Horrible back and forth. We're like the worst sitcom. We're like the sitcom with no jokes. Even though I tell all kinds of jokes. Do, 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 do. Ah. Shit. Oh, uh, good try, Kappa. Good try on the Kappa. Yeah, you tell jokes, but they all suck and no one cares. Well, Costanza, you can always find another channel to go hang out in. And I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna abbreviate that one with a kappa. That one's just a strict period. The strictest of period, like a, a bold aerial font. Twelve P period. Twelve point. Twelve point. Ugh. <laughs> trying to sit now you're just sitting here trying to teach the art of Kappa. Don't worry, Kate, I believe in you. I do. Give me the 
those cauliflower seeds. This is, this is ridiculous and I'm having a lot of fun with this because I know for a fact that Kate is probably trolling you right now. And if so, that's the best. This is the best shit in the world. That is the best shit in the world. That's, that's a golden seashell. Ooh, my... Unfortunately, unfortunately, Cade, and I'm just going to be real honest here, we can only have one Kappa Queen. And the Kappa Queen in this chat is the Lady Costanza. Sad, but true. Because even though her Kappa timing is all terrible and pretty much pointless, Kappa... Uh, she is the Kappa Queen. She is the Queen K. A-P-P-A. -P -P Why are you sad? When I'm a dude. And apparently... I wasn't saying you're a Kappa Queen, I was saying that Costanza was a Kappa Queen. You gotta pay attention. You gotta listen to the facts. You gotta listen to the facts. And the facts are... God damn it. That's right. No one said you were a queen. No one even said you were a queen. a lot more sensitive than I thought it would be. Oh, we got the bream. though? I'm gonna guess he meant like that. However, I'm the only person who's allowed to do that. You do that shit and you're gone! I ain't even joking. Try me. <laughs> Challenge. Ah, ha, 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 sadistic bastard. Oh, I want that treasure chest. 
Praise the sun, people. Praise it. Praise the sun. Ooh, iron ore. I'll take it. <laughs> 10 o'clock p.m. I wish it was only 10 o'clock p.m. in real life. Catch like one or two more fish. Challenge accepted. All right, Kate, bring it on. I put up the challenge. I expect to be tested. Can right, walk right into the righteous fist of the mother hybrid. Kate, do you want to be a Meryl? Meryl suck. And I'm a water type trainer. Or, well, I'm a grass type trainer. But let's be fair here. I also train water types. Ooh, Cade. Normally you would have been timed out for that shit, but I will let you get away with it because I see the BC Warrior in there. I'll let you get away with it for the BC Warrior. That's it. That's it. It's the only reason. That's the only reason holding you back. From that delicious, that delicious purge. Meryl doesn't suck. Meryl's my favorite. Meryl and Azurel are all terrible. Level 2 farming, watering cramp efficiency, and hoe proficiency. Time to bitch slap some hoes. Stone fence, mayonnaise machine, and a sprinkler. But except we're not going to make the basic sprinkler because the basic sprinkler sucks. Fishing rod, we can make the crab pot finally. Decent amount of change. Oh my god, some pocket change. What's a BC Warrior? BC Warrior is the persona of Ezekiel the Third, who is this lovely gentleman. The actual BC Warrior is right... Oh god, I scrolled down too far. Oh, now I've done it. Now I've gone and done it. This is the actual BC Warrior. Oh god, you guys are gonna make me actually type Ezekiel... The third. He's a streamer here on Twitch. Probably the guy I've been subbed to the longest as far as subs on Twitch. I'll always take a chance to pimp out someone else. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow so we can prepare not to water. Dear Fama Doctor Sir, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really nice, a little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Zeke sounds like super cool and all, but I bet he only plays Minecraft. I'm testing my patience, Costanza. Testing my patience. Stomping right on the old toes. Be right back. Alright, we'll see you when you get back, Kate. Take this and this. That away. Talk to the puppy. Why did I put that away? I need to I need to water today. I'm preparing for tomorrow, but I still need to water the plants today. Yeah, it's because let's playing is totally a thing that happens on Twitch. Twitch is not a let's play. 
Twitch as a stream. There's a major difference. Twitch interaction, chat interaction, annotations, overlays, all kinds of fun stuff. YouTube is all pre-recorded nonsense. I can, I can say that full-heartedly because I'm a former YouTuber, so... And I'm not going to time you over being ridiculous. I'm just going to ignore you. I'm going to do the, the worst thing to do to somebody in your chat, even if you like them, is to just ignore them. Yeah. I'm just going to chill here and listen to some music and talk to myself like I normally do. <sighs> what a peaceful day. What a peaceful, peaceful day. Maybe we can go up here and find some plants. <gasps> Look at that daffodil hiding around here. It's a dandelion. I'm never gonna get it right. Come on, forage. Forage, oh, beautiful. There's a daffodil. Now I've heard there's rumors. Of course, these aren't rumors because I've actually I didn't actually know about them. But if I go to the old uh, bush behind the playhouse at noon, oh, come on. Oh, I don't need a parsnip for this. But I wait. That's the foraging bundle, you dummy. Spring. Wait. Wait. This is the foraging. This isn't for the crops. Oh. What a silly bastard. Okay. Oh, that's a golden one. I'm not giving you a golden one. Not giving you a golden one. You know, I'm starting to miss Cade. Gotta be honest, I'm starting to miss Cade a little bit. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> oh look who broke their who look who broke their troll attitude. Yes, Costanza. In all seriousness, it's it's a contender for my game of the year. It isn't my game of the year because we still have two months left of the year. It is a serious contender for it though. It is probably right now top three. But you have to realize that I'm way older than you, nearly a decade older than you, and I grew up on Harvest Moon and Rune Factory. And so like it's been nearly 10 years since the last good one came out. So yeah, it's it's a huge game for a lot of people. This, there's a reason this game is on a lot of people's Game of the Year lists. One of my top three contenders? Oh my god, it's so tough. Uh, Dark Souls 3, Stardew Valley. I'd have to look at a list of games that came out this year. XCOM 2 is the top one. Shit. Let's see if I can actually pull this up real quick. Come over here. Games of 2016. Oh, Doom! I totally forgot Doom came out this year. Oh, No Man's Sky, easily my top... My, not my number one. You know it. <laughs> no, not at all. No Man's Sky was terrible. Uh, Firewatch came out this year. Firewatch was good, but it wasn't, like, as good as people wanted it to be. ReCore, I haven't played. Abzu, I didn't play because I, I heard it was kind of meh. Darkest Dungeon came out this year. Enter the Gungeon inside. Oh my god, there's so many games. There's so many games I love. Enter the Gungeon's probably up there. Inside is definitely up there. Darkest Dungeon I played like throughout last year, but its official release was this year. 
you are. Back what I missed, Cade. You didn't really miss much. I'm talking about game of the years right now. You own XCOM Enemy Unknown. Enemy Unknown is definitely a stream game. I'm going to be playing that on stream at some point. Because I never actually played through XCOM, the remake of XCOM. But I am so much of an XCOM fan and I want to play it so bad. And I played a little bit of XCOM 2 and I really want to play it. I really, 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 really. Look at all those, look at all those periods by Costanza. Okay, maybe it was that, maybe it was that bad. No Man's Sky was terrible. Forget, forget the whole, like, well, he, you know, even, even the game that did come out, even if they didn't lie about, blatantly lie about all the shit that was supposed to be in it, even if the game that was released was what was supposed to be released, it was still garbage. I got Doom for the Xbox original. Like, the actual, like, Doom remake, like, Doom, the one that came out this year. Because it's super good. Let me get rid of the driftwood. It's not how you have a Dishonored 2. Oh, Dishonored 2. Dishonored 2 is coming out this year. It's coming out in, like, a month. It's coming out in, like, three weeks. It's coming out November 11th. Oh, my God, Costanza. You have a really good point with that. That's going to be so good. That is going to be so freaking good. You want X5 Enemy Unknown for er, for Xbox, but have you played it? Because it's super good and you should play it. We're not going to... Uh, it's the 10th. We should farm more parsnips. Garbage. It is garbage. No Man's Sky was terrible. I'm not even... I'm, I'm not even mad that they lied about a bunch of shit. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they're getting legal action pursued against them for it. It's just a terrible game. No, the original. Ah, Doom is good. I don't want to get you a catfish. Enemy, no, no, it wasn't good, wasn't good for you because I'm dumb. It has nothing to do with being dumb or smart or anything. Forgot we can't buy seats today. Uh, XCOM is just a heavy strategy game, and I'm a big strategy guy. I love strategy, I love strategy games, I'm a big Magic the Gathering player, I've been playing card games for years. Strategy is where I'm at. Strategy is where I'm at. So XCOM is perfect for me. I played the original XCOMs too. For the first Xbox, oh, back in the day, man. Like, Costanza couldn't beat XCOM. Well, you'll get to see me struggle through it when I play it on stream eventually. Because chances are I'm going to play it on a ridiculously hard difficulty. Not Iron Man. I'm not going to go Iron Man mode, but I will play it on a harder difficulty. Just because I like to make things very difficult. Oh my god, I, I keep forgetting that Enter the Gungeon came out this year. And while it's not at all what I thought it was going to be, it's still a super good game. This is definitely... could be a Tigerfish. No, Tigerfish is only Summer. What could you be? You're only a small, small bass. Okay. Because I'm dumb and it sucks. And I suck at that. The Doom on the Xbox is hard. Yes, it is. I'm guessing you mean Doom 3. Which is not one of my favorite Doom games. Because it's not really a Doom game, but it is. I probably couldn't even finish the XCOM on easy. It's a, it's a damn hard game. It's a very hard game. You have to, like, think on your toes every second of the way. And that's actually, honestly, one of the things I'm looking forward to. Is going through that struggle. You've done Doom on the hardest, want to know how you beat it? Sure. Enlighten me. How'd you beat it on the hardest? Was it up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, start? If it was... Okay with it. I just realized you could all be too young to understand that joke. But that's fine. I understood it, and that made me laugh. Ha ha ha! Ha! Fake laugh. Achieved.
And don't worry about it, Costanza. XCOM's not for everybody. XCOM's not for everybody. You should totally play Stardew Valley, though. Let me pimp this game out. Get Stardew Valley. I'm not even joking. Like... <laughs> Cheats. <laughs> well, then you didn't beat it. If I'm, if I can be so, uh, so blunt, if you use a cheat, you didn't beat it. You cheated. You're removing the difficulty by cheating, so you can't really say you beat it on the hardest difficulty if you cheated. But that's just the truth of it. And what we're doing now is we're just fishing till we're out of energy. Got another bream. Can fish a couple more times. Saving up for that backpack. Failure. Oodie. Boop, 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 booty. Give me that perfect. Give me that perfect. Is it bad that your character throws and is two inches away? I don't know what you mean. I'm gonna get real quiet and pretend I don't know what you mean. Is it bad that my character's eight? No. I'm guessing you mean by how far I'm casting. That's that doesn't mean it's bad. I didn't get the chest. No, you. S oh wait. I have enough. I have enough time for one more cast. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. I forgot it was seven seven energy for a cast. That could have been real bad. Don't want to run out of energy. I sincerely hope, Costanza, that that is a Kappa. I sincerely hope that is a troll. I sincerely do. Well, no, that can't be a Kappa, because Overwatch is good. Overwatch is good. Mirror's Edge Catalyst is kind of eh. I don't want to play it because Mirror's Edge has never been my type of game. It's just not for me. And No Man's Sky is just... Well, I, I don't need to... I don't need to be, uh... Restating everything I've said about No Man's Sky for the past, like... Two months. And the first two aren't trolls. I kind of figured the first two aren't trolls. Characters fish and throw. Yeah, uh, Cade, the, the fish and throw, uh, the fishing cast isn't a bad thing. That's just a, it's a size thing about space on the screens, etc, etc. And it looks like it's less than it would be because I'm facing down rather than left to right. But I can't think of a 2016 game you've played. Do 1700 buckaroonies. Oh, those potatoes are so good. And that fishing was so good, too. I played a lot of games from this year. This was an incredible game for uh, year for gaming, and it's only getting better. Like, we still have so many games that are still yet to come out. Uh, lost your favorite axe. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna go get it right away, because I know exactly where it is. Because I've played this game before. <laughs> <laughs> Mirrors, that is the most fun game you've played. <laughs> Kappa. I've heard it was good. It's just not my type of game. Mirrors Edge 1 was a great game. I just didn't like it. it was not in my wheelhouse. Hatsune Miku Project Eva X instead of No Man's. 
Okay. I know Hatsune Miku. I didn't know she actually had games. Oh, horseradish. Wild horseradish jam and spring onions. Give me them spring onions. Let's go get Robin's axe. Speaking of axes, I don't have mine on me, so I can't even uh, chop down any of these trees. Hatsune Miku Diva Project, or Project Diva X. She has a whole game? I mean, I guess that shouldn't surprise me. There's games, of, there's games for everything nowadays. It's like Japanese Guitar Hero. Like, I know who Hatsune Miku is. She's a Vocaloid. But, uh, I didn't know she had a game. It's like a Japanese Guitar Hero, though? That's cool. As far as the, well... Guitar Hero has its, its own reputation, but I've always been a big fan of Guitar Hero. I don't plan on ever playing it again. Unless it's like a party. Like, playing it with my buds. But, I don't think I'll ever go out of my way to buy a Guitar Hero again. Hey, Robin lost her axe. You mean Cade. It's a girl. Robin is a she. And she is a babe. But she's married, so I can't, so I can't do anything. Oh, you're making a Batman joke. Well, mm -hmm. ah, Costanza, there's a lot of games that are popular in Japan mm -hmm. that the Americans will never see. There's been like three or four Dragon Quest games that released over there and not in America that I would die to play because Dragon Quest is one of my favorite RPG series. I love Guitar Hero. I love Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero 3 and 5 and 4. A little bit of 4. 4 was good. Wasn't it as good as 3. However, 5 was phenomenal. Legends of Rock was phenomenal. And I really want to play it. And I was super good at Guitar Hero. Which is weird, because I'm a guitarist, and normally guitarists aren't actually good at Guitar Hero, which is weird. The Americans don't deserve them? That's a bit elitist, I would say. You all suck? I don't care if that's a kappa. I don't even care if that's a kappa. Don't tell me that America sucks, even if you're joking. You will get fucking banned. You won't be talking shit about my country. Joke or not. Like, Britain's doing so much better. But I'm not gonna get into politics, because politics are a no-no on this channel. You discuss politics on this channel, you get banned instantly. Not even a joke. Not even joking. No politics. This is a no politics, no religion talking stream. Because those are topics for, like, drunk dinners. Not video games. Besides, America has Twinkies. Not that that matters, because I actually hate Twinkies. But still. I do have a rules list. It should be one of the first things you check when you go into the channel of anybody. You have a rules list. It's like one of the first things you see when you come to a channel. America! Fuck yeah! Kate understands.
damn right. That is something I just did. That is something I just did. I dare you to eat a warhead suck, Cade. I do dare you to eat a warhead sucker. I can't say America sucks because that's racist. That, saying America sucks isn't being racist. Saying America sucks is just being a dick. Not allowing other languages in my chat isn't being a dick. It's because this is a community and if I can't understand what the fuck you're saying... Don't be part of the community. It has nothing to do with race. You could be a white person who's not speaking the same language as me. If I can't understand what you're saying, what's the point of being here? You can hang out in the chat, or you can hang out in the channel and watch, and watch the game all you want. But the second I start seeing 35 different people speak in a language I can't understand, that part of the experience is ruined. The whole idea behind Twitch is building a community and having a community about video games. If you can't talk with the people, there's no purpose doing it. That's the difference. But going into someone's chat room and saying, Hey, dude, your country sucks. That's just... that. It, there's, there's no comparison, Costanza. There's no... there's no... not even a comparison. <laughs> okay, this is sour, gotta go, arcade. Well, I apologize for making you eat that, but... Warhead sucker, you, you dared me to do it. You dared me to do it. You said, okay. You said, who dares me to eat a warhead sucker? So I did. I'm not going to pass up on that action. You're going to go throw up your guts? Alright, well don't throw them up too hard, because I could kill you. And dying is not a good thing. That's one of the things you want to avoid in life. Is dying. In fact, I would say that the number one goal in life every day is to try and make it through that day alive. So don't throw up your guts. Too bad. Wham. And that, my ladies and gentlemen, is what we call being a rules enforcer. Let me just reconfirm with those people that may be interested in watching the channel. I have rules for a reason. Even if you are hang hanging out, having a good time, even if you are a follower of the channel, even if you are a long-time viewer of the channel and you're hanging out and having a good time, that does not exempt you from breaking the rules. Let that be an example. It's flippin' sour, Cade! I'm so sorry! Drink milk! Go get milk now! You're crying like Isaac, then fight the bad guys, kill Monstro. Crying like Isaac. Oh wait, no, I don't want to give you those. Go drink some milk. That is exactly how you cure that. Go drink some milk. That is the best way to get rid of like sour taste is drink milk. You need milk! Oh god! No, Cade! <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't feel bad. It was still funny. But, you need, to, you, need to, you need to get some milk. And we are buying our next backpack. Because I like carrying more than, you know, basic stuff. And we're just gonna go ham on potatoes. Oh, ham and potatoes sounds so good right now. Oh, we don't have our hoe on us. We don't have our hoe on us. These are the these are the twig things. You're drinking milk. There you go. You have you have won this battle. You have won the battle. Please be still open. Please still be open. That's what I meant to say. Grammar is hard. 
donate the skeletal tail. Is it helping? Milk solves so many problems. Like, if we're being real here, milk solves so many problems. We're gonna fish a little, because we can catch a catfish. Although, I think we stand no chance of catching a catfish, because catfish is really hard to catch. Well, now you gotta go. Alright, well, Cade, thanks for hanging out, bud. Thanks for hanging out. You enjoy your milk, and uh, the next time you dare someone to make you eat something really sour, I might not be the best person to go up against, because I'll dare you right away. Because I'm the same way. If I dare somebody to... If I'm like, dude, I dare you to make me do this. Someone's gonna do it. Gotta go to school? Alright, well, have fun. School should always be fun. And if you dislike school, you're not trying hard enough. You gotta like school. It's the best place to learn. That's a catfish. That is a catfish. That is a... Oh no, it's a catfish! Ah! Oh. Screw it, we're not catching a catfish with this fishing rope. Fishing pole. I can't even speak. Gonna get some seashells by the seashore. Appreciate you hanging, Kate. I hit it too late. Are you kidding me? My temple itched. I had to itch the temple. You're a little jumpy. Quit being so jumpy. Anchovy. Some bait. I'll take the bait. It's almost, it's like the perfect day to plant a bunch of potatoes too, because I don't have to spend any energy watering them. I'm so excited to be back in this game. Like, no joke, guys, I'm incredibly happy to be playing this game again. It's been too long. But too damn long without Stardew Valley. A toxic ribbon is now an onion bro. Welcome to the hive mind, my friend. Get on in here and enjoy the good times. You are now an onion bro. Join Siggy in becoming one of the most glorious NPCs in video game history. Oh, Jesus. May you bless me on this fish. Toxic Ribbon, I'm looking for you to bless me on this fish. A Toxic Ribbon! You gave me the eel! You gave me the eel, the Toxic Ribbon! It's because of you that I caught that eel. Thank you. And you got me an achievement that apparently I didn't have yet. I don't know why I didn't have that achievement. That's strange. But I'm okay with it. Oh, jeez. I also need your help with this one, Toxic Ribbon. Not really, this one's actually quite easy, but thank you for the help anyway. <gasps> it's a halibut! We're catching all the good fish. Is the eel good? It is very good. It's worth a bunch of money. I don't think I'm gonna sell it, though! I don't think I'm gonna sell it, unless this is another eel. If this is another eel, we'll sell it, because the eel is for the community center. And you can only catch it in the ocean when it's raining. <laughs> in the ocean when it's raining, that's the only time. Also, by the way, your name is awesome, and it's hilarious that you showed up in my chat with a green name, and your name is Toxic. Like, the stars are aligning for you tonight, man. Stars are aligning for you tonight. It's all perfect. It's another eel. Dude, we're not, we're not stopping. Don't stop believing. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Horrible guitar noises. Oh, come on. You set your name to green? That's... That's priceless. That is... That is just good thinking there. It's that way for everyone for that very reason. Yep, my name is Purple for everyone because purple's my favorite color. 
and it is the channel color. I want a perfect. I, oh, it's not a perfect. Quit hanging out at the bottom. Get some activity going. Get some activity going, fish. I want a challenge in this rain. Okay, now you're being ridiculous. Stop the challenge. Stop the challenge. Enough! Be a halibut. <gasps> it's a halibut. Alright, it's not 10 o'clock yet. I can do a couple more fish. It's raining. I'm, I'm going risky. I'm going risky. Going balls deep on these fishes. Is that another eel? That immediate jump makes it an eel. I guarantee it's an eel. And it's an eel. Is that a golden eel? It was another golden eel. We got two golden eels. Holy buckets of... Holy buckets. That's right. Bucketception. Buckets of holy buckets on Bucket Farm in Stardew Valley. Bucketception. Boom. Come on. I can't... I can't. I can't push it too close. It's okay. We gotta go. Seaweed, gotta go. Gotta go. It's getting late. I didn't bring my hoe. There's so many. There's so many twigs sticking out of the ground that I can hoe up. <gasps> Have you played this game, Toxic Ribbon? I hope you say no, because then I can sell it to you by saying, "Get it." How's Oh, well, how's the goal of the game? So I'm guessing that is a definite no on the whole, have you played it? The goal of the game is to enjoy life. It is to sustain a farm. Uh, yeah, sustain a farm, live the country life, uh, gain friendship through all the township, uh, the people in the township, make it to the bottom of the mines, Going deep on these potatoes. Hold on. Going deep on these potatoes. We have plenty of time. Hold on. We have plenty of time. I don't have my hoe. No! Get the hoe. 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 Ho ho. Get the hoe. Get the hoe. Get the hoe. Ho ho. I need five more. Three, four, five. Oh yes, all the potatoes. I'm gonna keep one halibut. I'm gonna sell one of each of those. I have not heard of it before now. Just went through the games and clicked on this one clicked on this one randomly. Well thank you for the random click. I appreciate you stopping by randomly. Randomness is always my favorite thing. We also gotta give her her axe tomorrow. Oh, we're gonna make so much money from all this fish. Two golden eels. Level 2 foraging, axe proficiency leveled up, and we can make the survival burger. Level 4 fishing, fishing rod proficiency, we can now make the recycling machine. Watch all this money. Thousand bucks from fishing. What other games do you play, Penta, or just this? I don't just play this. This is only for this week. This was voted on Twitter, uh, Sunday, as my streaming game for the week, because going into... Saturday, this weekend pretty much, going into Saturday and Sunday, we will be jumping back into a long Pokemon playthrough. We will be playing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Pokemon games. In fact, Kerblamo. This is the upcoming schedule, just for your curiosities. Uh, Poketovember is going to be for the latter half of October and into November. We're going to be playing through Pokemon Black 2. Pokemon Soul Silver and Pokemon Platinum all blind. And then after that, we got a bunch of games lined up. Uh, some of the notable ones are South Park Stick of Truth, Ghost 1.0, and Silent Age. I'm a variety streamer, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I play all kinds of different games. Uh, recently, we've been playing a lot of Isaac, played some Stramium Inf uh, Immortale, which is a new indie game that just came out. Uh. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the song. It's still the best song in the game. And, uh, Enter the Gungeon, Nuclear Throne, 
I played No Man's Sky when it first came out, didn't like it, gave up, tried to refund it, couldn't refund it. <laughs> so basically you play Pokemon in a bunch of games no one has ever heard of. That's not fair. Everyone knows what Binding of Isaac is. Everyone on this planet knows what Binding of Isaac is. So I'm holding an egg festival in Town Square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. But the long story short, I play a lot of indie games. So yes, some games that people have never heard of. And I don't play a lot of Pokemon. I just over the course of uh, over the month of September, I played through Pokemon Black, the first Pokemon Black version, blind, because I'd been asked by one of my buddies to play through it. He's like, just give it a chance, man. You'll actually like it. And I played through the whole game, and it was phenomenal. I had such a good time playing it. And I will be... Uh, I want at least one of the green beans back. And so I played, uh, played through it. Enjoyed the hell out of it. And vowed that I would be playing through it and keep the hoe on me. I should always keep the hoe on me. And I vowed that I would play through Pokemon Black 2. We played a Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke a couple of weeks ago. Didn't make it very far, made it through the second gym, and lost because of my own dumb mistake. I've heard of it, never played it. Binding of Isaac is probably a top contender for top five games of all time for me. Also, this is the best part of the song. Booty poop, booty poop. But to be fair, you don't play a lot of games. Well, you will have to stop by one of the nights we play Binding of Isaac because, or, you know, if I can shamelessly promote myself here, which I do often because I'm a shameless whore, youtube.com slash pentahybrid is where you can find every stream I've ever done uploaded in full 720p, 60 frames per second, and you can watch the VOD history for there. However, if you are interested in the live show, I stream five days minimum a week for two hours minimum, sometimes a lot longer, sometimes like five or six or even seven, eight hours, but it all depends on what game I'm playing. Like Pokemon streams were usually like, that's a bold statement on my game of all time. It's Binding of Isaac, I, to be very blunt, there are only probably seven or eight games I've play, put more than a thousand hours in. Binding of Isaac is almost at 2,000. It is an incredible game and one of my favorites of all time. I'm also going to grab my axe. But yeah, anyway, YouTube is uh, the perfect place for you to go to find anything that I've ever streamed, as well as like two years worth of original footage or original content over there. Uh, I did YouTube for two years. Before I did YouTube, I did streaming for three years. And now I primarily use YouTube as a archive for my streams. You play only like five games? Well, what do you play then? I'm curious. What do you play? Inform me. I play more than that, though. Well, what do you play? What are your favorite games? What do you play? I'm super curious. I love those types of conversations. They're like my favorite. I should explore the mines more often, though. That is a that is a fair point, me. I should definitely go to the mines more often. League of Legends. Oh, you're a LOL player. Never did get into League of Legends. I've watched a lot of, like, the, the tournaments and stuff back in the day, but never did much care for playing it. The whole... I, I guess the easiest way for me to say that for a LoL player to understand is that I'm not big into multiplayer games. And having a lot of League of Legends fans... Uh, not fans, uh, friends is what I meant to say. A lot of League of Legends, Legends friends who play League of Legends... LOL players happen to get very defensive when people say that, Ooh, I don't like it because it's a bad game. The easiest way for me to say it is, I don't like multiplayer. So, 
And a lot of LoL people understand that because, well, if you don't like multiplayer, LoL is not the game for you. You like multiplayer games? Let's see. It strikes, it strikes different people. Oh, Riven is a LoL character. Ah, oh, that's right. So is, uh... Oh my god, what is her name? It starts with a J. She's, she's like the girl with the shark bazooka thing. Shark bazooka thing. That's pretty descriptive there, Penta Hybrid. But yeah, she's, uh, Jinx? Jinx! That's her name, okay. See, I can remember things. I need 20 more wood. Do I have enough energy to... <sighs> Hold on. I don't have enough energy, but I can make myself have enough energy. Do you like watching solo games? Because if you don't, this might not be the best place for you to be. Because I play primarily single-player games. I have a lot of plans to do multiplayer games, like I plan on doing like Terraria multiplayer. I have plans to do like Don't Starve with a couple friends. There's going to be a lot of streams planned to do uh, like board games, like tabletop style stuff. But as far as like multiplayer video games, it's mostly, I'm mostly a solo player. So if that isn't for you, I do apologize, but it's, it's the way the stream is. You like watching everything? Well then this is the perfect place for you, because I don't really have a good schedule for what I plan on playing. <laughs> I just play random games whenever I decide to play. Oh, I love having the upgraded backpack, because I don't have to stress out about carrying all my tools with me. That is literally the best reason to get the backpack so early and farm for money to get the backpack early so you can carry all your tools with you. It's the biggest reason to do it. Uh, we're gonna have to go ham on more Parsons too, but I have to find Robin. But before I find Robin, I wanna go down to see Willy. Oh, Wild Horse Radish Jam is gone. <gasps> ho them worms, ho them worms, give me the book. I found a book in the library. Found a book in the library. If you are <laughs> an Undertale fan, you'll get that joke. Do I have a schedule for streaming? I do and I don't. I have set times that I stream, and I have most of the days that I stream set aside, but with my work schedule, because I, I do have a full-time job, uh, my s work schedule doesn't really have a big leniency for stream my streaming schedule, so you're actually not a toxic person, it's just kind of a meme. <laughs> uh, but my streaming schedule is usually five days a week. Uh, I try at least five days a week minimum. And if I miss a day, I usually announce it ahead of time. But five days a week, I normally always stream Saturdays, and they're usually longer streams. Oh, I'm going to get the fiberglass rod eventually, so we're going to sell this and this and this and this. Buy this. Well, not a meme, just a stereotype. Oh, the talk, yeah, toxic people, yeah. Uh, but as far as the schedule, I during the weekdays, Monday through Friday, I stream from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. Minimum, that's the scheduled time. It's always 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. Probably, sometimes it's a little later, sometimes it's a little earlier, but it's usually... I will always be live from 4 to 6 at the very minimum, most weekdays. Uh, I like to take at least one day off a week during the weekdays, so it's usually Monday's my day off, Monday or Tuesday are my day off, but I didn't take a day off this week, so I've, been, I've literally streamed every day since last Wednesday, just because I've been playing a lot of cool games lately. There's Robin. Take your damn axe, woman. That's Leah, not Robin. Jesus, I'm dumb. Uh... 
I keep losing my tra my train of thought. Uh, and then yeah, Saturdays I stream. Got worms. I stream. Like this weekend, for instance, is going to be a Pokemon stream Saturday. So it's going to probably be like five to five plus hours of just solid Pokemon. And I hope I hope I see you there because it should be a fun time. Hopefully a lot of my, my major followers will show up because a lot of my major followers just like watching me play Pokemon. And they're probably really excited for me to get back into it. <laughs> so that's the lengthy description of what I actually do. Sorry for being so drawn out about it. Time do I start? 4 a.m. Central Time. That's Central Time in the United States. So 4 a.m. Central. So you'll have to let me know what time zone you're in, and I can convert it for you. Otherwise, you can do it yourself. But yeah, 4 a.m. Central time in the Americas. Well, the Americas. In the United States of America. So right now, it is 5.43 a.m. right here, which means that my schedule permits me to stop in like 15 minutes, but I don't know. I might play a little longer, probably a couple minutes longer. And by a couple minutes, I mean probably like 20 or so minutes longer. I don't know. It pretty much depends on whether Stardew Valley lets me stop. That's what it boils down to. That's really late. My, like I said, my work schedule is kind of... I'm a second shifter, so I get home from work at like 1 a.m. Oh, I got that carp. There we go. That's that fishy. Besides, I got a lot of people over in Europe that watch, and so this is technically their morning and their afternoon. Oh, look at that. Look at that chub. I'm starting to feel exhausted. I got one more cast in me. My job must suck. No, it doesn't suck. It's just regular second shift hours. I love my job. Kind of unfair to say a job sucks just because of the hours you work. Somebody's, somebody's got to do the second shift hours. That's oldest rule in the book. Somebody's got to be awake to do it. So I just adjust my schedule around it. And I'm fine with that. I got a lot of... A lot of good viewers over in Europe that like watching, so. This will give us an extra cast. It'll give us an extra two casts. Oh my god, I am getting tired though. Yeah, I, I, my schedule is brutal though. That's no joke. That is no joke. My schedule is brutal. I'm at work usually nine, ten hours a day. Per, most of the time, more than that, but nine, ten hours a day is like the average. And uh, stream for two hours minimum a day. I usually get about six hours of sleep. Not solid sleep, I usually get about like three or four hours of solid sleep, but I, I lay down for about six hours before getting up and getting ready to go to work. But, tis the life I live. What do I do for work? I am the supervisor at a injection molding plant. I make plastic things. <laughs> Easiest way to say it, I make plastic things. A lot of our stuff is confidential, but I basically take boiling hot plastic that's like 600 degrees, shoot it through a piece of steel, and make like bottle caps and stuff. Amongst many other things. I make tons of other stuff. We make gun parts, we make rocking chair parts. You know, lawn stake parts. We make caps for like disposable hygiene caps, like the, the the wipes caps. We make all kinds of stuff. 
But yes, I am the Mr. Boss Man. Sounds wonderful. <gasps> There's Robin. Take your damn axe. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. No problem. Give me my money. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. I don't I didn't exactly describe it the best. <gasps> Sebastian, I haven't met you yet. I'm not too big on festivals. Lots of commotion. Too much social interaction. More stress than fun if you ask me. Yeah, you know. I need to meet one more person. Who do I need to meet yet? Who do I still need to meet? I don't remember who I need to meet yet. Uh, let's run to the community center real quick. Before we go off running around selling our stuff that we could donate. <laughs> Wild horseradish, leek, I just need a daffodil. The only reason I didn't take the daffodil here from the last time was because it was a golden daffodil and therefore worth like 300 bucks. And I'm not going to sell something that's worth, or I'm not going to donate something that's worth that much money in the early game. It's hilarious though that, uh, my buddy, who's a fellow streamer, basically uh, is trying to come up with a, a tagline for my stream. You know, like a a phrase, like a, like a, a catchphrase for my stream. He's like, it should be, come for the voice, stay for the games. And I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. How do people come for the voice when they don't even, they, they've never been here before. They don't know what I sound like. It should be come for the gameplay, stay for the voice, if anything. Makes no sense, I tell you. I'm gonna have to build a new chest. I'm gonna have to build a new chest, I think. Hi, puppy. Is it gonna rain tomorrow? It's gonna be clear. Oh, tomorrow's the event. 9 a.m. for the egg festival. <gasps> Time to go f hunt egg hunting. Level 3 farming. Watering can and hoe proficiency leveled up. Bee house speed grow farmer's lunch. Is there something good about my voice? People like it. I don't know why, but people like it. I have a weird accent. That's all you noticed. People, I don't know, people like my voice. I'm glad you didn't say anything about it. That makes me feel a little better. It's usually the first thing people say to me. It's like, you have a nice voice. And I'm like, thank you. It's a weird thing to get complimented on. Complimenting someone on their smile, complimenting someone on the way they dress, cool. Telling someone they have a nice voice is weird. But I will always... I will, I will never be rude and say, oh, it's dumb. I don't even remember if I planted something there. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I think there are people that have nice voices. Like Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman has a nice voice. I can listen to him talk about anything. I like how he's my only example right now. Do I still have my parsnip and my potato in here? 
think I accidentally sold them. All right, then we'll sell the cauliflower. Screw it. His voice is nice. Yes, it is. Morgan Freeman has a great voice. Furnace. Make our furnace empire up here. Puppy. Alright. Now we're gonna have to get ready for the egg festival. And if we're being really honest, this might be the last day for the night. Because I am pooped. I am pooped. It is almost. It is. Hinging like four seconds away from being the six o'clock mark. Actually, it's not. That's weird. Oh, that's right. Now, nah, never mind. <gasps> There's a leak. I see you hidden up there. I saw you hidden up there. You can't escape from me. Let's go to the egg festival. I don't know, Morgan Freeman has, has some good, like, he has some great clarity, good timber in his voice. Let's go buy a shit ton of strawberries. What up, Linus? What's up, Clint? What up, Pam? Spring is a busy time of year, so it's nice to have a day off and catch up with friends. I, you notice all the people I don't like, I just skip right past? <laughs> Abby's always loved the egg hunt, ever since she was a tiny girl. Sometimes I hide an egg too well, so no one finds it. Yeah, until summer rolls around and the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. <laughs> Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. That's what I'm missing. I'm missing the dude in the... In the, uh... The... The, the freaking... The, the guild. The guy in the rocking chair. Welcome to the Egg Festival. Compliments of the wonderful brood of hens. Hi, Leah. Fruit Bunch is unusually good. That's because they spiked it! I've been up since the color... I've been up since dawn coloring egg. It's always my favorite part of the season. Vincent loves the festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. Aww. Hey, Gus. Hope everyone's enjoying the food. I've been cooking for days to get everything ready. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs, you name it. Hey, Maru. I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes me the valley feel like a real community. Hi, Penny. The children have been looking forward to this festival for weeks. Hi, Jazz. I helped him catch up to you. Hi, Vincent. What up, Abby? Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. It is going on a treasure hunt. We used to do a rotten egg toss, but the just picked an end to that really quick. <laughs> allergies. I can feel for that. I don't really have a lot of allergies, but I do hate sneezing quite a bit. Where the heck? Maybe he doesn't come to the festival. Is Evelyn here? Oh, there she is. Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Evelyn and George. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do this egg hunt. Let's do it. Let's get first place. Come on. We have so much riding on the line. It's time for the highlight of the festivities. The annual spring egg hunt. Calm down, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and get the exclusive prize. When do I sleep? About five minutes after I stop streaming. 
Is everyone ready? I am ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me eleven. Come on. No, no. I almost made it. I walked into the bush. I walked into the bush. If I lose, I'm gonna be so mad. I lost the last time I did this too on my first file. Wow, look at all these eggs. No, if only I could get you kids to pick up the litter effic this, effi this efficiently. We'd have the cleanest town on the side of the Gem Sea. <laughs> and now the winner of this year's egg hunt. Doctor Sir! Yes! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hell yes! Give me my prize, Lewis. I got a straw hat, ladies and gentlemen. We got a straw hat. Hell yes. Put on that straw hat. Wear it like a champion. Planting all the strawberries. Gonna have to hold that ground a little bit right there. Plant that strawberry. Water those strawberries. And we'll sell the leak. I'm not gonna make a whole ton of money on this. Well, we might make some money on this day. I forgot. We do have a. We got quite a bit of stuff in the. Like cauliflowers and stuff. It's gonna be beautiful all day tomorrow, which means we have to water our stuff. Oh, look at that harvest. Beautiful, beautiful harvest. Take a look outside. Don't got a whole bunch of stuff going on out here. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out again tonight. Thank you everyone who's been popping in, saying hello, lurking, whatever it is that you choose to do. As long as you're here and chilling, I'm okay with it. My name is Penta Hybrid. I just swung my sword because I can. It is 6 a.m. And normally I'd go a little longer, finish another day, but Stardew Valley is one of those games where a day can last like 20-30 minutes. And if I go one more day, I'm going to end up turning into one more day, and then another day, and then another day. Uh, kind of what I did last night, where I just straight, I just tried to finish another day and I ended up going for like 20-30 minutes longer. But, my name is Penta Hybrid. This is going to be the end of the stream for tonight, but I will see you tomorrow with more Stardew Valley. I stream... At least five days a week, I take one day off during the week, and then I take Sundays off. Uh, occasionally I do stream Sundays, but I do take Sundays off, and then one day during the week. So I stream five days a week, two hours minimum. Right now, until Saturday, Stardew Valley is what we'll be playing. We won't be finishing this game, this isn't for 100% or anything, I've already played a lot of this game. So... It's not like we're going to be trying to aim to play this game a whole bunch. I just asked you guys on Twitter what game you wanted me to play for the rest of the week until Pokemon starts, and you guys were like, Stardew Valley! So, that's what we'll be playing until for the next couple days. So, let's let's keep rocking out some uh, parsnips. Hopefully we'll get to summer soon. And, uh, yeah. Have a nice rest past time. Thank you, uh, Toxic Ribbon. Maybe you'll see you next the next stream. Yep, tomorrow, 4 to 6. Same old time. Same old time. 
I don't think tomorrow's going to be my off day because I want to play more Stardew Valley. <laughs> That's kind of my excuse is, you could take your day off tomorrow. No, I want to play more Stardew Valley. Why not? It's only two hours out of my life and it causes you guys to have some good laughs and have a place for you to come in and join the community and talk. It's a great place. So, you can follow me here on Twitter. This is not Twitter, by the way. You can follow me here on Twitch to get notified when I go live. You can follow me on Twitter, which the link is dropped directly into the chat. Following me on Twitter is the easiest way, aside from hanging out in chat, to get a hold of me. I also can't type, apparently. There it is. Follow me there on Twitter. It's the best way to get a hold of me when I'm not streaming. And then there's the YouTube link. If you don't catch the live show and you want to see me stream, or you want to see the content, maybe you missed a stream and you want to catch up on the story of a certain game, YouTube is the best, best place to go because all of my live stuff gets put on YouTube directly as an archive. It's uploaded in the same quality. There's no editing except for the beginning and beginning of the stream because it's usually pre-show. Anyway, enough babbling. I have a tendency to babble. My name is Penta Hybrid. Thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you in the next stream. Catch you later.